Hi there, I go by the name The Celtic Storyteller and welcome to this mini-series where I draw a couple of tarot cards daily for inspiration to help you with NaNoWriMo. I'm a writer and a tarot card reader and I wanted to share the inspirational power of tarot cards with those of you looking for a little creative boost during this month to help you with the NaNoWriMo challenge. This is for Monday the 2nd of November and day 2 of NaNoWriMo. So this first card is for your character or plot and I will explain its meaning and any story I see in the card. And then you can decide if this is going to be useful to you and you can also look at the image yourself and let your mind wander and see if it ignites any ideas for your story. Seven of Pentacles. This can be taking a break to appreciate the results of your hard work. This second card is for you and it might be advice, inspiration or help with your own personal writing journey. And we have Princess of Stor Swords. Princess of Swords. Okay, so this first card is for your plot um, or your character somehow. So this is the Seven of Pentacles. So if you see this guy, he's um, already invested a lot of time in creating this um, harvest here, okay? And it looks like he's only getting he's only getting one little pentacle out of it. So he's put in an awful lot of hard work and doesn't seem to be getting much out of it. So it's the card of taking a break from your hard work and deciding what you're going to keep, what you're going to get rid of, you know, so he'd be kind of clearing out the weeds as well. And it's also at that point in time where you're not really reaping the, the rewards of your labor, but it is yet to come. So this guy looks a little bit sad there. So I don't know if that little story there helps you with what you're writing at the moment. It's also a card of trusting um, that the work that you've put in is going to pay off. You are going to reap a reward. This is also the card of investment. So, you know, pentacles can represent money. Um, so this could have something to do with um, putting down an investment uh, in something um, and it just hasn't come to fruition yet. You know, uh, maybe your character is going to invest in the stock market or something. <laughs> Or maybe your character has just realized that he's spent a huge amount of his life investing in the wrong thing and that starts him on a new journey. Now this is your card for today, the Princess of Swords, um, also the Page of Swords in the Rider Waite Smith deck. So this card is often seen as the card of spying on people or you know looking at social media and that kind of thing so i'm not saying that you're spying on anybody but maybe um it's just calling for a bit of balance between your own writing and what you're looking at on the internet so you're probably following hashtags for nanowrimo and looking to see what other writers are doing and that could be a little bit off-putting maybe if people are saying oh i've already written you know um three days worth of, of um, writing, you know, and it's day, day two and I've done three days of writing or I've done my first week of writing in the first day. And, you know, so that could be a bit off-putting. So, you know, um, stick to what you know is right for you. You know, these little birds here are coming in with messages, um, you know, but the Princess of Swords has a sword. So when you have a sword, you can cut away what doesn't serve you, what, you know, doesn't do you any good. So, yeah, I think this Princess of Swords is saying find the right balance between uh, getting inspiration from other people doing the same challenge as you and then just uh, pulling back you know and just concentrating on your own timelines what you've decided is going to be good for you to um, work on daily um, you know maybe you've got a full-time job and you can't work daily maybe you're only going to write at the weekends that's absolutely fine as well of course um, you can still be thinking about what you're going to write during the week. So, you know, um, I know this is card isn't for you, it's for your character. So, you know, it could be midweek, it could be just thinking about what you're going to write and at the weekend you get to actually write it. Okay, lastly, I'm going to draw an oracle card for your Cheer Me Up card. Again, I'm going to use Bob Ross. Now, I think this one here for you. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is after this. Trees cover up a multitude of sins. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, yeah, so don't mind what it is you're writing and if you don't think it's good enough, I think they, they say that in all the um, websites, don't they, for NaNoWriMo? Don't worry about the quality just yet, just get the, the words out. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this has helped you with your writing goals for today or in the future. If you've liked this, please subscribe and like. That's all I have for today, so until tomorrow, slow on a wishing you all the best.